Welcome to London on a very, very wet Thursday morning. I'm here today to attend the 8th Forum of Free Nations of Post-Russia. This is a group which brings together national leaders from across Russia, leaders who hope to bring their respective people to independence. So basically, it's an organization which exists to encourage Russia to break up in much the same way that the Soviet Union broke up in 1991. They're going to be some people that I've met in the course of making some of my videos. Uh, one person who appeared briefly in one of my videos, so I'm looking forward to meeting them. They're also going to be some people I haven't met, some real high flyers, members of parliament from other countries, uh, academics. I'm really not quite sure how I managed to get on the invitation list, but very glad to be attending. So join me for a day with Russian separatists. Here we go. So we're here at University College London. That's the School of Slavonic and Eastern European Studies where the event is being held. Editing Fredo here. The forum took place over two sessions, one here in London and one in Paris two days later. The one in London was the smaller of the two. Thanks to the wisdom of the British government, many forum delegates could not get visas to attend. This was an all-day event, mostly consisting of speeches, debates, and panel discussions, things which I don't think translate well to YouTube. So what I did was pull some of the most interesting people aside for some short interviews. Uh, good day, Freda. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, excellent. We've got a translator here who's going to help us between things. Why is it important that Tatarstan become independent, and why should people not be afraid of it? Tatarstan <laughs> Uh, since October 1552, uh, Tatars are occupied by Russians and obviously we have to fight because we have no other option. It's about living and surviving. The Tatars are dying as a nation, but we have to fight for our independence and our freedom. Can you tell us more about you, your personal journey? I'm uh, into political life for over 30 years and uh, during that time there were persecutions, uh, there were four arrests, I've been in prison for four times. Um, also uh, there were there was an assault, um, I had 17 uh, bones broken and uh, of course, the Russian government, they persecute and they chase all Tatar organizations, but not uh, not just Tatar, all ideal rural organizations who fight for this freedom. You're very passionate about Tatarstan, but also about ideal rural. Can you explain to people who aren't familiar with that term, why why is Adel Ural important? Inside Adel Ural uh, Federation, there are seven republics. Tatarstan, Bashkortostan, Mordovia, uh, Mariel, Udmurtia, and Chuvashia. Uh, the whole territory of Adel Ural is much smaller than Ukraine. And uh, obviously, it's very important to have strong Adel Ural because we can fight all together and united. Uh, Tatarstan alone, unfortunately, won't be able to get independent by himself. It's, it's important that we do it all together. We also invite all Siberian uh, republics and nationalities to fight, to, enjo uh, to join us and uh, to fight with us, uh, because all together we can dismantle and collapse the Russian Empire. Uh, together we'll, we are more powerful and we have more people, more influence, more resources, it's very important to be united and together. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to come was to meet you in person. Yeah, what a privilege. Thank you so much. I'm also uh, happy to see you today. We wish you success with your videos and thank you for uh, enlightening and uh, sharing the problems of uh, Tatarstan and all other colonized nations. Thank you. Good luck. Tatar halkına azatlık, beysizlik, biz azat bulaşak biz. I'm Maria Ochir. I'm member of Oirat Kelmik Congress and the Liga of uh, Free Nations. Do you think Kalmykia can become an independent country? Yes, of course. If uh, if if 
if I wouldn't believe in this idea, I would not not come here. But could you just explain who the people of Kalmykia are and what makes them different from everyone else around them? Um, this is a complicated question because of, on one side we are very different, from the other side not so big differences. Different because of the, uh, we are Asians, different because we are Buddhists, different because of we are one part of Asian in the Europe. But uh, common uh, things is long history. Uh, we are colonized 200 years ago and so in this case we have uh, Russian education. I studied, for example, in St. Petersburg. In this sense, we have also very common with all, all people from uh, former Soviet Union. There's been a lot of talk that Ukraine needs to win. If Ukraine wins the war, that that could mean that countries start becoming independent inside Russia. Do you think that's all it will take, or will it take something else? Uh, we have uh, uh, different uh, points of view, in, uh, even in our Oil uh, Academy Congress, but I uh, personally, I'm uh, looking for the ways to uh, avoid the bloody uh, decisions. So uh, without war, without military actions, the, uh, we get independence um, uh, some legal way, I s- think. But this League of Nations, I think, is very interesting. So you've, you've partnered with uh, some leaders from Bashkortostan and Tatarstan and maybe other countries? I- Yes, yes, a lot of uh, nations, yeah. So what will you do? What is the goal? Uh, a League of Free Nations is uh, one uh, social uh, political platform which uh, unite, uni- united united uh, national movements. So uh, uh, different mo- uh, people, uh, nations uh, from North Caucasus, from Kalmykia, Idel Ural also, Tatarstan, Bashkortostan. Udmurtian, and then uh, Asian republics also in Siberia. So uh, we became every day more uh, nations. Is it going to become a government or is it just a a, a network? This is only a network. uh, um, uh, At the moment, this is a little bit like a think tank. Is there anything else that that you'd like to say that I haven't asked you that you think is important? For example, your film, at the end you have uh, said, this your last phrase, and I I cried uh, simple, because of very, very seldom we, we meet people in the West uh, which uh, understand us, uh, nationalities from uh, held captive by Moscow, yeah? Uh, very seldom people understand us really and stay uh, on the, the same side. And I'd like to, to get more support, more understanding in the Western society, and especially between uh, Western politicians. So long was the detect- dictatorship in uh, Russia, so our uh, nations need the real support. It is very, very important if they get support from Western lands. I also met a separatist from China. Okay, so I'm, I'm here with Jasper, who we are not showing his face for security reasons. Could you introduce yourself to us? Mm, hi, uh, I'm one of the commanders of Cantonia Independence Party. We are an organization which strive to uh, fight for the independence of Cantonia, which uh, people know as Guangdong province in southern China. Uh, we believe our homeland is a occupied uh, land uh, by China, and uh, human rights and freedoms are suppressed by the CCP uh, colonization. I mean, why why do you come to these events uh, that are about Russia breaking up if you're from China? Russia and China are two empires which uh, has been uh, supporting each other for a long period of history. The free world can see that Russia cannot be a democracy without the imperialization and the colonization. I think this is the same case for China, except that uh, uh, autonomous or national movements in China are are relatively uh, little known to the world. I've been in Hong Kong. I spent a few months there. I was, while I was there, I was in a film, which you've seen. Yeah. (coughs) Yeah. Um, 
And did I do well? Do you remember? Yeah,、uh, I I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. But is, Hong Kong isn't really part of Cantonia. It's more the area just north of Hong Kong. Yeah. With the city that we used to call Canton, which is yes,、yeah, the capital city of Cantonia is Canton, known as Guangzhou in Mandarin now. Yeah. Do you yeah. prefer to use Canton? Oh、uh, yeah, of course. What's different about Cantonia? What makes it different from other parts of China? Um. First of all, we have. We have a our own cultures, which is、uh, diverse and very different. We speak a、uh, multiple multiple、uh, different languages from Mandarin, where、uh, people who only know Mandarin cannot understand. And another hand is that、uh, during the、uh, recent history,、uh, Cantonia used to ha- have our own governments, currencies, and、uh, autonomy. Which was destroyed by both Chinese nationalists and communists. That's、um, that's the main reason that we advocate for our independence from China. Are you growing? Are you hoping to have events, or what? What's the future? I think for now,、uh, the most important thing for us is to grow、um, by numbers and to、uh, let more people know about Cantonia and the human rights abuse. As well as、uh, the independence movement,、um, du- during this year, there's、uh, one of our members who、uh, spray painted、uh, slogans uh, advoc- advocating Cantonia independence in the street of Cantonia, and he successfully escaped from China after that. Well, I think you're very brave to be here, and I really thank you for taking a couple minutes. And hopefully, I'll make a, a video about Cantonia soon. That'd be great. Thank you. Hey, yeah, my name is Oleg Magalecki. I am a founder of、uh, platform of Free Nation of Post Russia Forum. There are people that criticize this group and and similar efforts. There was an article in the Spectator. I don't know if you saw it, making it sound like. This is just a bunch of expatriates. They're just wasting time. No one, no one really cares about them that much. Why do you think this is important?、Uh, you know,、uh, the logic of history says that things are happen, and、uh, all empire collapse. And we have the last empire in Europe. It's called Russian Federation, and it's one of the second、uh, empire in world, PRC and、uh, Russian Federation. It will collapse.、So, Want we it or don't want we it? It will happen. So、uh, we could be proactive. We could try to make some coordination, some roads map, some direct connection from different uh, movements, uh, different anti-colonial、uh, leaders, or do nothing. If we do nothing, we'll have more risk. We'll have more violence. Why? So. Of course, it could and could not work. But if we have only one chance from hundreds, we should try to do it. And as far as I understand, with USSR, Yugoslavia, when you try to be ready, you will have not such a lot of problems, but more benefits if you are not ready. So our point is to be ready. Now, what we have in Ukraine, what we have in Israel, is because we are we want ready. We try to be. Blind and think that everything will be like it was yesterday. It won't be. But we should speak about not only speak. We should try to find decision how to stop this、uh, real evil. I think everyone's waiting for you to take them to the pub. So、yeah. thank you very much. Congratulations! It was、thank、a really great event. Thank you for help. Thank you that you、uh, make、uh, video, make information about Tatarstan, Bashkortostan, and as a captive nation of so-called Russian Federation. All people from this、uh, nation are very thankful for you. Thank you for your work. Königsberg. Yeah, you make the last one about the Königsberg, about the Baltic Republic. Thanks a lot. Uh, that was my day with the separatists. I wasn't really sure what to expect. The big takeaway, I guess, is getting ready for independence now. Today is not a fool's errand. It's something that's worth doing.、Uh, great to meet meet some really important and really wonderful people. And、um, I hope it's my, not my last interaction with the free nations of Russia forum. Welcome to London on a very very wet.、Oh.
welcome to London.